Hey guys, how you doing today? It is Steve of the Guru Brew. A customer brought a ThinkPad IBM laptop into the shop today and it has a startup problem and I thought I would show it to you. This is the ThinkPad Lenovo series R61i and you can see down here they call it their R series there were thousands of these things made and they went out to schools and universities all over the country and I've seen quite a few of them here in the shop so I know that there's a boatload of these that exist this is a Pentium class dual core machine and I can tell by the sticker there that it has Windows Vista on it this has a unique little button right here it's, it's a little blue think vantage button that's made to administer these machines so hang out with me and we'll try to fix this Windows Vista startup problem it keeps looping around and it never starts I'll show you that in a minute so coming up and maybe you can learn something to fix yours too hang out with me and we'll get started So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this Lenovo ThinkPad for you and you can see what it's doing and the reason why it's here, the reason why the customer brought it in. So I may speed up this video um, so you don't have to wait so long, but uh, we'll watch it here for a little bit and you can see what it does. Well, I think that's enough. Um, I don't think anything really happened is what's going on here. This is just the startup, and it'll do this little bar here forever if you let it. So this is the symptoms of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to fix this. And there's several techniques to try. And we're just going to do them until something works. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the power button down here until it shuts off. Okay. Now I was telling you in the intro that this computer has a special button on it. That's right here. And it says Think Vantage on it. And this, this button is kind of like an F8 on a regular computer, if you will. It allows us to get into the ThinkPad BIOS as well as other utilities that IBM put in there for us to use to administer this computer. So the trick to using the ThinkPad Vantage button is to have the computer off and then begin pressing the blue button as it's coming on. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to press the power button and then press this uh, th Think button. There was a little message up there I just seen about it too. So I'm getting this startup interruption menu. I'm going to hit F11 here. And it's loading that special partition for me. Now they might have changed the key presses, you know. Um, once you press the Think Start button or whatever it's called, the Think Vantage button, there might be a different key after the, after that. Mine was F11. You just have to pay attention to what the screen's saying. If you can't see it quick enough, take a video of your screen and then look back on it. A lot of times the message will flash too fast. Okay, now you can see it's working out quite well. It's loading the Lenovo Rescue and Recover partition. So as soon as this loads up, I'll be back. Okay, well the screen has changed and it says, you know, I have to agree to the software before I can use it. So I just have to come over here and hit this continue button. I apologize to you guys for these screen captures. We're going to fix the problem. We're going to buy some hardware that's going to fix this problem. And we'll be able to give you better future videos of screenshots. So hang out with us and, um, you know, we'll make it better. 
So I'm just agreeing to this. Continue. Feels like her button here is sticky. Yeah, sure does. I'll have to see if I can double tap it. Yeah, she's got sticky buttons. I'm also going to get a uh, mouse for this. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, well the Think Advantage Rescue and Recovery Partition is launched and after I agreed to using it, this is what popped up. So this is real typical of the IBM ThinkPad uh, screen. And you can read on down here, there's different items that you can do. The first one's Quick re Restore and that's what we're going to try first. There's also a full restore in here that allows you to completely delete the hard drive and start again. And I don't want to do that because the customer does want her pictures and documents that are on this computer. Up here is a file rescue um, application. And um, as you can see, there's an antivirus launch here too, along with some other things that you can look up on your own. So the first thing we're going to try is this quick restore. Um, it will not erase our pictures. It will just try to um, recover the operating system and fix any errors. So let's try it first. Click. Okay, it is a good idea to go ahead and put your power cord in your laptop if you haven't already. Here's mine. If you run out of battery power, you can actually make the problem worse, so make sure that you're plugged in and ready to go before you continue onward. So let's go ahead with this. Okay. You can see that it's starting up and working. As, so as soon as something changes significant, I'll be back. We're just waiting on this. I just wanted to give you an update to this Think Vantage Rescue progress. It's been about 10 or 15 minutes and we're only at 7%. In fact, it took a while just to come off the 0%. So this process does take some time and you're just going to have to be patient. Okay, we'll go ahead and let this run and I'll be back as soon as something significant happens. Okay, another update. It's been probably about a half hour since I launched this. And you can see it's at 36%. Yep, 26 minutes it's been uh, estimated to run more. So we'll see how that works out. This is actually rebuilding the entire Vista operating system files. Um, there's probably certain files that can't be uh, replaced but for the majority of them they are um, so we'll see if this corrects the problem so stand by and I'll let you know well I just happened to look over and this Windows machine had come up to the login so it looks like it's complete and it's ready to log in I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in looks like this might have fixed it in the first try so let's go ahead and uh, I'll be back after I put the password in Okay, I put my password in and the welcome screen is going to come on here. Excellent. Very nice. So I really don't know the condition of this computer or, you know, if it has any viruses or anything like that on there, but it looks like it works just fine. So there you go, guys. There is the IBM ThinkPad um, Vista repair for the startup. So if your Vista operating system is doing loops on you and it never starts fully, um, try to press the blue button, the ThinkPad button, and follow the steps through this video and see if you can get yours working. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.